Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome to, honestly, I don't really know what to classify this video as. At first, I was just going to do a normal analysis video, and then I started to think about it more and more, and then I was like, should I actually make this into a fully-fledged theory video? So, it's kind of that awkward middle ground, you know? But as you can tell from the title and the whiteboard behind me, we are going to be looking at Springtrap's lines from Five Nights at Freddy's AR Special Delivery, because... If you haven't had a listen to every single one of his voice lines, then you're really missing out. They are so, so fascinating. Not only the voice lines by themselves and what Scott wanted Springtrap to say, um, because this is like one of the very first times that Springtrap has talked, really, but also because there were so many connections between these lines of dialogue and loads of other things. From FNAF 4, to Ultimate Custom Night, to The Crying Child, to Michael, to everything really. So this video we're going to be uh, looking at those pieces of dialogue and trying to connect them to different things. Um, like I said at the beginning, this isn't really a theory video, it's just trying to get you guys to think about this because like I said, it's really fascinating. So do with this information as you want. I don't really know what to think of it myself, but I have thought out some of the dialogue, but most of it, I'm just going to be talking through the connections to different uh, things, like I mentioned before, Custom Knife, and F4, Crying Child, Michael. There are connections to so, so, so many things with these dialogues, so uh, yeah, let's not waste any more time, and let's jump right into it. So Springtrap's first piece of dialogue is this. I've been living in the shadows. Uh, we first found out about this line in the uh, teaser trailer for the game. Uh, at first we didn't really know whether it was truly Springtrap's voice or not, but now we know for certain that it is. So let's connect this with a few pieces of dialogue from Ultimate Custom Night. Now originally I was going to do a video dedicated to me trying to do voice impressions of the Custom Night characters. But then I just didn't do it for some reason, but I do still have everyone's dialogue here, uh, even Phone Guy and uh, Mr. Hippo, all the secret characters, on this Google document. So, something that comes in handy is we can actually search for shadows, ooh, if I can spell it correctly, shadows in this document. So, nothing comes up there, but if we look up just shadow in general, we get two results. The first one is from Nightmare Freddy, his voice line of I have always been hiding in your shadow. I've always been hiding in your shadows. And then, what's next? Nightmare, which is this. The shadow fears me. The shadow fears me. So, right off the bat, we have two great connections to Custom Night characters, both of which are very interestingly Nightmare animatronics. Maybe there's a coincidence there? I don't know, let's keep looking. I've been living in shadows. The next line of dialogue for Springtrap is this. Yeah, I'm gonna go find you. And you may remember that line um, from Michael's big long speech at the end of Sister Location Custom Night, where he says this. I'm going to come find you. I'm going to come find you. So again, another connection to the Afton family, William reciting a line from his son. So the next piece of dialogue is very interesting. As far as I'm aware, it doesn't connect to anything, but it is interesting to note. Hide if you want. It did not save the others. It will not save you. He's clearly talking about the victims that he has killed. You know, maybe they tried to hide from him, but he still found them anyways. Like I said, it doesn't really connect to anything, but it is still very intriguing. His next piece of dialogue is this. It is not your flesh that sustains me. It is your fear. And if we look up flesh, we can see that there are three results. The first one is from Nightmare Freddy again. I am given flesh to be your tormentor. The next one is from Nightmare. And then the final one is Rockstar Bonnie. Okay, maybe that is separate. <laughs> We're going to stick to the Nightmare characters for now because that is the second time we've gotten basically direct parallels between Springtrap's line um, and then 
lines from Nightmare characters. So it seems like there is some connection between these two characters, Springtrap and the Nightmare animatronics, but there was more to cover. Springtrap's immediate next line is this. You will not be spared. You will not be saved. And looking up spare, we get only one result, which is from Nightmare with his line of. So yet another parallel to Nightmare and the Nightmare Animatronics. Again, it's not a theory video, but that is very, very, very interesting. Not only do they both have spare and saved in their voice lines, it's literally ward for ward. You will not be spared, you will not be saved. Very, very intriguing. And again, the immediate next line for Springtrap after that is this one. Let's see how many times you can be pulled apart and put back together again. And looking up pulled, we get again only one result from Nightmare Threadbear with his line. Let's see how many times you can be pulled apart. And if we look up again from the last word in Springtrap's uh, voice line, we get results for Nightmare Threadbear's line of this. Let me put you back together. Then take you apart all over again. So, two parallels back to Nightmare Fredbear talking about the very, very iconic and well known line of dialogue from FNAF 4, which is, I will put you back together. Referencing that, you know, I will pull you back together, or I'll pull you apart and then put you back together again. Springtrap and Nightmare Fredbear referencing that line. Very, very interesting, like I said. This one, as far as I'm aware, also doesn't have any connections to anything, but is still worth noting. Suffer now, like all who have stood before me. It's interesting to think who Springtrap is talking about in this voice line. Suffer now, like all who have stood before me. Who is he talking about? Who has stood before him? I don't really know. Okay, so Springtrap's next line is this one. Your fear will consume. And looking up fear, we get exactly three results. One from Nightmare Fredbear, his line of this. This time, there is more than an illusion to fear. Nightmare's line. The shadow fears me. And then Nightmarion's line. I am the fearful reflection of what you have created. All of which reference fear. Um, and it's worth noting, these are the only three to come up. The Nightmare animatronics and Nightmareon, he, he technically, he, she technically counts as a Nightmare character. Um, they are the only type of characters to reference fear in Custom Night. Coincidence? At this point, most likely, but then again it's Scott, and as we know from MatPat, Scott doesn't do coincidences. There is some connection between Springtrap and the Nightmare characters. There just has to be. Another direct link with Springtrap's next line of I am here to claim what is left of you. If we look up claim, we get Oh wow, would you look at that one result again with Nightmare's line of this? I'm here to claim what is left of you. Which is the exact same thing. Again, the exact same thing. So that is exactly two two whole lines of dialogue that directly reference each other. They are literally the same thing. Nightmare's line and Springtrap's line, they are the exact same thing. So, that is all the voice lines that we are going to look at for today. What do you think? What do you think? I don't know. I just want to make this video because I thought it was interesting just how similar some of Springtrap's voice lines are to other characters in Custom Night and other events that take place in the franchise. Personally, I do think there is definitely some linkage between Springtrap and the Nightmare characters. Um, not only is he the one that practically created them using the, uh, the illusion discs uh, from the fourth closet to scare away uh, the crying child from not going to Fredbear's, but maybe there's something else. Maybe there's something else that we are not aware of. Something that I was thinking about while I was just thinking about this video is maybe Nightmare is some version of William Afton in the crying child's eyes 
Um, but honestly, I couldn't really find any other evidence for that other than these voice lines, which, you know, it is evidence, but like I said, it's not really the best evidence, which is why I just wanted to make this video kind of open for your guys' interpretation and not just an actual fully-fledged theory video, because there's this is really all the evidence that I can come up with. Um, so, who knows? Like I said, maybe they are just coincidences, but then again, it is Scott. You never know at this point, so maybe, um, in the crying child's eyes, William Afton is his version of a nightmare. I don't know. Just a thought, guys. I'm not saying that it's true, I'm not saying that it's false, I just want you guys to think about it and have an open mind. I'm not trying to come on here and completely change the way you're thinking of the FNAF story, I just want to, you know share some information, some unique information that I found uh, just scouring the FNAF internet. Uh, I literally came across the video of all the voice lines from Special Delivery and I was listening to Springtrap's lines and I was like, huh, these sound very similar to things I've heard before because in my position as a popular FNAF YouTuber, guys, uh, but no, just in general, I have the majority of Custom Knight's voice lines just engraved into my memory. As much as I hate it, there are so many things about FNAF that have just permanently been in my mind. I I really haven't touched Custom Night properly for months and months and months. But it's still it's still in there. There's things you just don't forget. So I was like, huh, that's an interesting. I'll just make a random video about it. Like I said, this is just uh, an open-minded video. I'm trying to get you guys to think about stuff. Like I said at the beginning of this video, this video wasn't really supposed to be anything special I just thought it was interesting so hopefully I made you guys think about something interesting today and if you guys have any thoughts on the subject feel free to leave them down in the comments below so thanks for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side goodbye